Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Rat Tarot and this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and uh, Cancer Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for January 7th to January 13th, 2018 uh, and 19th, excuse me so for that reason, uh, not for that reason but I wanted to say that while I'm shuffling the cards um, I want to remind you that uh, this is going to be a, a general reading for Cancer Star Sign and uh, for that reason uh, it, this reading is going to uh, resonate differently with every single different Cancer. So in this video I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but at the end you have to align the reading to your own personal situation. Now if you want uh, your situation to be analyzed through by me through Tsaro just like I'm doing for the examples in this video that will be a subject of a personal reading and uh, for personal readings uh, you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you will find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing so uh, this is going to be as well a uh, enhanced star spread which means that we're going to draw multiple cards per position and uh, these are the four main positions and for what it seems uh, cancers uh, this week in a sense of activity I uh, like a, a crazy active week it's basically it's not gonna happen that way I mean this week it is where you will really create your comfort zone or you have already uh, won some position and this week where you actually consolidate those positions, you quench those positions and uh, you make them permanent if I may express myself uh, that way. So the first card that we do have which is the topic of your week that is going to be the four of pentacles with uh, the uh, chariot card so that is as I said a consolidation of a current positions and taking on a defensive measures for uh, some circumstances or people that may decide to knock you off those positions. Just to give you an example here, uh, you may recently started a relationship with someone but this someone still have another suitor, well that week is where you are actually going to consolidate upon the relationship, showing to the others that they cannot mess with your woman or with your boy and uh, as soon as you, how can I place it, uh, drive away the competition then the real deal in this relationship is going to take off in case we're talking about relationship here uh, where you will use that consolidation as a, a big foundation for you to make a, a huge step forth uh, relationship wise probably engagement further into the future. What I'm, what I'm saying is that your current positions that you have taken and now that throughout this, this week you are going to defend are a, a positions that will serve you for a, a long, long time. So you should not give up from the wealth that you have recently won for yourself. Now these cards here are pointing to, as I said, the building up to the foundation of already uh, existing positions, but as well it's very important here not to be rushed because the chariot sometimes has that property of where one prematurely, you know, executes a certain thing or, or, or jump for that matter in a very deep relationships as we said that may be a relationship but until you don't drive away the whole competition from it that should not be a, a deep investment all right so make your homework before you invest very very deep um, <clears throat> but if not anything else these cards are pointing to a, a successful defense all right so whatever the competition is whatever forces you are standing against uh, they will simply doesn't have any chances. It's it's just it's just that bad for them. I mean, no matter how much resources or how much strength is thrown towards you, it's it will be basically a, a futile efforts from someone to take away what is naturally yours. On top of that, these cards may also resemble leadership position, right? So you may find yourself, especially career-wise, as a leader of um, of a project or as a leader of a certain task or work, and etc., etc. Promotion 
I cannot say promotion. If it is about promotion, then that promotion should happen recently and now you need to prove yourself worthy for it that you can really get the job done and uh, with these cards you will have no problem whatsoever. As a matter of fact, if that's the case, then these cards are pointing that uh, your boss or those who are giving you the job that you are depending from will put you through a hell of a test that you will show yourself completely capable of doing it. The next card that we do have, this is going to be the Hangman with the uh, with the strength card, and that that is really pointing to your vigor. I mean, it's showing that no matter how big the obstacles look like and and how um, uh, fruitless and futile the situation looks like, you never give up, and you basically one or another way you find the crack you need in order to crack the whole thing down and to, to basically do what you are supposed to do there. So these cards here, the whole four cards are showing that there is no one that can resist your charisma or can resist, you know, your... Um, your presence, if I may express it that way, uh, in a sense of um, uh, dating, uh, enthralling people and relationships. So this is basically here a, a week where you should, if you are single, you should really uh, catch an eye on someone or, or spot someone and do the work in order to... Um, in order to make the foundation to start dating with these people. In any case, guys, these cards here, uh, cancers are pointing that there is nothing throughout this week that you cannot achieve. So it's it's important to uh, to aim high, but in the same time, you have to as well consolidate upon your current positions because they are the foundation of those high aims. Now. <clears throat> The hangman with the strength card is that it does represents that the harder the task is or the stronger the opposition as we said here is the more stronger you become so basically these people or these circumstances that are threatening you one or another way it's actually making you a favor because when they are no longer a factor you will maintain your strength that you have built up due to the momentum of that opposition and the more um, the more stronger you are obviously the better results you are going to achieve either regarding relationship or either regarding career i mean i don't know if you uh if you're realizing that but this we, we do have here a major breakthrough for you i mean i uh, a founding of a position or rather like taking of a position and, and establishing in it settling upon it that it will be yours for maybe your entire life so if you recently start dating and now you are overcoming you know the previous suitors of that person maybe that's your future wife or your future husband you know or if this is a project that you have fought for and now it's finally given to you well that project is going to bring you wealth because no one else could have done it but you are doing the magic here right um, it's important as well with these cards that you kind of allow your temper to speak for you. I mean, you should not show disinterest, especially to those things that are vital for you and that you find um, valuable. For example, if we are following uh, the instance here that these are suitors of your newly found relationship, partnering relationship, then you should not show this interest that there is someone else showing interest to your partner, right? Because that will... I, I don't know, that, that that may point to that person that you recently started dating with, uh, they don't mean much for you. So you, you have to really <laughs> defend with teeth and nails what you have recently won in your life. And if you haven't won anything recently, well, these, uh, these cards, again, are pointing leadership positions. So definitely you can build up some, uh, some foundations here, prerequisites to establish, again, a, a solid, solid positions and uh, build up your comfort zone around, uh, around a valuable thing in your life. I don't know what that valuable thing can be. It will be different for every single one of you. If I was a cancer, that would have been my job, you know. Um, <clears throat> a cancer that I know, it will be her children and etc, etc. I mean, you have to define for yourself in case you haven't kind of won anything in the recent past, talking a couple of months prior to this reading. Now, the next card that we do have, that will be the Ace of Cups, which is the challenges that are causing predicaments uh, with the uh, Lover's card. 
And so what we do have here is really the dirty work that has to be done. And as we spoke about uh, competition, all right, it, it kind of sounds like a, a little bit of a war or a battle, you know. And we, when we are contributing into a war or a battle, there are always dirty tricks. There are always uh, surreptitious maneuvers. And that is something that you also have to contribute here against your rivals. And that is purely a thing that will be not very welcomed by your nature. I mean, that, that is not the way you do things, but in this specific case, it's going to be a necessary thing. So, basically, these cards as a predicament points that you have to get your hands dirty a little bit throughout that week in order to make um, make the consolidation of those positions definitive and no one else further into the future even dare to think you know, to take away what is yours. Additionally, these cards here <clears throat> are pointing that um, you cannot rely on luck or you should not rely on luck. You should always rely on your personal efforts and your decision making for that matter. It is important here when we do have the lover card, the lover's card, regardless how tough the decision looks like, to always take it as a accountable to your situation and to your actions. Example, <clears throat> you're dating with a person, right? But your friend doesn't like that person and ultimately your friend tells you, well, you have to choose me or them. Well, you got to take that decision that serves you, that doesn't serve your partner or doesn't ne that doesn't necessarily serve your partner or that, that, that doesn't necessarily serves your friend, that serves you. You got to know here that there is no right or wrong choice. There will be always people that are in a losing situation from that choice. What is important here is that the loser isn't you, all right? Because if you are the one who has the right to choose here and you are putting yourself in such a position that you are the loser, well, I'm sorry, guys, but shame on you. This time around, you have to think for yourself because, as we said, that is a major breakthrough that you're going to have. I mean, a breakthrough of consolidating upon a, uh, upon a uh, positions. What these positions are going to be, well, that depends on you because they could be an empty positions. They could be poignant positions. While you do have everything in the world to make them lucrative or solid positions all right and again it doesn't mean that it's going to be pleasant to do it it will be kind of it will involve a little bit of a dirty work but a necessary one so i hope that uh, you are kind of ready for it because uh, after that uh, things are going to normalize as the uh, queen of pentacles uh, represent and by the way uh, after that it doesn't look like that you will need anything else for a uh, quite a while so that is again an, an important week for um, <clears throat> for building up your agenda maybe for the next six months uh, six months or so so you have to be here very careful when it comes to uh, to a, a decision making you always have to be in a harmony with the decision you shouldn't go against your sense of uh, of harmony here. The last card, which is the Queen of Pentacles, and that it is accompanied with uh, the Five of Cups. As I said, that there will be always a, a losing side, and it is important that you are not the losing side here, as you will have the right to choose. Uh, you have to make peace with it. I mean, you gotta resign about that fact that at the end of the day, not everybody gets to be a winner, and. Uh, <clears throat> That should not stop you from experiencing the full, um, I could say, benefits of the situation that you are placing yourself at. For example, you choose your partner over your friend. You know, you should not mourn about losing a friend. You should look at it like you have won a partner in your love life, all right? Or if you decide vice versa, you shouldn't look as like you have a as you have lost a potential intimate partner. You should look like you have won a, a friend and potential uh, love partners are everywhere and one is going to come around sooner or later. I mean, these cards are talking that you have to be resigned about your decision making and you need to aim to make for the most of it as 
the end of the day again there will be always a losing side it's just you should make sure that that is not you in any case and the queen of pentacles here always uh, as well advise you to uh, kind of like build up your domain to build up your um your comfort zone either and to consolidate on it that is the mother of the four of pentacles uh, <clears throat> and uh, basically uh, when you find your positions either career wise or either relationship wise you have to be um, unyielding about protecting them and about developing developing them nurturing them because the queen of uh, queen of pentacles gives you the opportunity to grow within the existing framework of your enterprises you don't need what what that card says is that you don't need any more new any more new enterprises apart from this one that you have recently won all right you just need to develop those that you have already won so a couple of examples here at the end of uh, at the end of this reading now uh, let's see let's um Let's interpret the cards like you the, like this is a, a career reading. So we do have a, a defending of a position in a specific project, so a plan of yours, or maybe you have been recently assigned to a project and everybody is hostile to you, is hostile to you for one or another reason. Well, that is you consolidating upon the position you are taking in this project, showing that no one actually can take you off apart from your supervisor. But in the same time, your supervisor. Um, entrusted you with that position and what we do have here is that you have to be very passionate about it showing to these people that actually without you i mean they will not be able to pull it through and uh, when you do so you know maybe throughout that specific week something very severely is going to depend on you as you will have to make a choice here that is going to be a tough choice it's not going to be pleasant but in the same time it's going to be yours to make and you have to do it according to your personal harmony how you're going to feeling harmonious about it and as soon as you make it things are going to normalize and you will be able to now start grow in the existing frame rate uh, framework excuse me into the current task even though someone else is going to be in a disadvantageable position that you had finger in it and uh, relationship wise again recently you you could have started dating someone here or <clears throat> That could be a a result of a recent makeup into uh, into one relationship, uh, which was kind of against the odds. Here it is uh, it is seen especially with these four cards, but the but the vigor and the um, the determination want to make things works really. Um, <clears throat> really pays off and now the uh, the position there of completely functioning relationship it is established and now one needs to sustain it that way which is going to take some tough decisions basically those um, <clears throat> negative influences that put it the, the, the put in the first place the relationship in this miserable spot has to go away maybe it's going to be difficult for you to detach from them it could be the mother of your boyfriend or a girlfriend it could be your mother or father it could be a common friend of yours basically these circumstances or these influences needs to be cut away and as soon as you do so you will be able to start growing in the framework of your current uh, relationship so uh, that being said this was the tarot reading now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and what they are to show us is a uh, event that uh, you should either uh, look forward to or try to avoid All right, so the first card that we do have, this is the sun, and the sun speaks for great amounts of success, great amounts of luck, and in generally a, um, <clears throat> a success, you know. The next one, that is the, uh, the lady, and the lady is associated with a lady. And the next one, the third one, this is the moon, and the moon is associated with fame, recognition, and how the others sees you. So pretty simple here, a, a woman is going to recognize your success, that it could be related with the position into the project or with the task that we talked about, or it could be as well associated with your recent uh, new uh, suitor that uh, 
you know that you may have or it could be where your partner uh, kind of recognize that actually you were right and things kind of start repairing but um, in the same time someone else is kind of influencing that relationship or it could be a woman recognizes how successful you can be and starts to influence negative negatively um, your endeavors so you have to be uh, basically what this this reading here says is that you cancer has to be ruthless when it comes to rivals it, it, it there is no other way how i should put it you have to be ruthless with no remorse of pity or fear toward people that wishes you the bad so that being said cancers this was your weekly tarot and lenormand reading for january 7th to january 13th 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, once again this was a general reading for cancer star sign and therefore this reading will resonate differently with every single one of you so uh, if you want uh, your personal situation as you have to align it to uh, this reading if you want me to do that for you and analyze it by drawing tarot cards just like I did for the examples in this video um, then that is a subject to a personal reading and for personal readings uh, you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you will find full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now, see you next time, bye!